there's no question that the Arizona Coyotes are one of the league's bottom tier organizations. The team plays in a college arena, spends the absolute minimum to reach the cap floor, and has the lowest valuation of any franchise in the NHL. Even still, the team always manages to have young talent. Over the past decade, Oliver ekman Larson, Max Domi, and Connor Garland, among others, have all forged solid NHL careers starting out of Arizona. Over the past few seasons, most of the headlines surrounding the Coyotes involve Jacob Chikrin, but after his departure to Ottawa, the central focus of the team now is Clayton Keller. Clayton Keller was drafted 7th overall in 2016 out of the U.S. National Team Development Program. Playing for Boston University the year after he was drafted, Keller managed 45 points in 31 games, very impressive numbers for a freshman, which ranked him 17th in men's D1 scoring. The next season, as a 19-year-old, Keller made his full NHL debut. He was immediately one of Arizona's best players and one of the NHL's best rookies. He finished his rookie year with 23 goals and 42 assists for a 65-point total. Keller earned a place as a Calder Trophy finalist, although only one first-place vote, as Matthew Barzal won the award almost unanimously. Throughout his next three seasons, Keller failed to reach the numbers he had put up in his rookie year. He was still playing well, though, and played well enough to earn a massive contract extension in 2019. On September 4th, the Coyotes gave Keller an eight-year, $57.2 million deal, making him the player with the longest term in the organization. 2021-22 was the first year that Clayton Keller broke one of his rookie totals. Arizona got some extra offensive firepower with the breakout year of Nick Schmaltz and addition of Shane Gostisbehere, which helped Keller reach a new career high in goals with 28. His 63 points came up just short of his rookie year 65, although he did miss 15 games. This season is where things have gotten particularly interesting for Keller though, especially as of late. Before February 4th's All-Star break, Clayton Keller had 18 goals and 23 assists in 50 games. At .82 points per game, this put him on pace to finish the year with 67 points, which would have been a slight improvement on the year prior. After the All-Star break though, Keller has reached a level we haven't ever seen from him. In 25 games, he scored 18 goals and produced 40 total points. In only two of those 25 games, has Keller not registered a point, those being against Carolina and Tampa Bay. For another perspective into how impressive this run has been, Keller's 1.6 points per game since the All-Star break would done him 131 points over a full 82-game season. In this span, only two players are ahead of Keller in total goals and in total points. Those two players are Connor McDavid and Nathan McKinnon. Keep in mind, these stats are on the Arizona Coyotes, one of the lower talent teams in the NHL. Since the All-Star break, Keller has been only slightly less productive than the best offensive forces in the NHL on a team with much less supporting talent. It's still a relatively short sample size, but this incredible run of form shows what Clayton Keller is capable of. Surrounded by a legitimately talented team, there's superstar potential with Keller. And that brings us to what's next, for both the future of the Arizona Coyotes and Clayton Keller himself. At one time, Jacob Chikrin looked like a piece that would be sticking around until the Arizona Coyotes were finally a good team. On the day Chikrin was traded, he was still only 24 years old. Clayton Keller is also 24 years old. Keller is going to be the key to the future of the Arizona Coyotes, whether that means as a part of the organization or not. There hasn't been any news to suggest a Keller trade is close, or even something Arizona wants to pursue at all, but there's no question it would net a massive return for the Coyotes. As mentioned earlier, the Coyotes signed Keller to an 8-year deal in 2019. As of 2023, that deal reads as 5 more years, with 7.15 million average annual value each season. That very well may be one of the best contracts for a star player in the league and presents enormous value to a team looking to just begin its contending window in the next season or two. Next season is the final season before any sort of no-movement clause kicks in on Keller's deal. There's a no-trade clause beginning in 2024-25, and then a no-move clause in the final two years of the deal. 
If Arizona decides they want to move on from Keller, it's something that they will most likely need to get done over the next season to maximize their return. Alternatively, they can just hold on to their young superstar. In all likelihood, that is what they'll do. Arizona is tanking so that they can get more players like Keller, and he is young enough to fit into their window. It's expected that Logan Cooley and Dylan Gunther will make the jump to full-time NHLers within the next season or two, which presents the perfect time period for Arizona to evaluate how close they are to contention. There's a built-in one-season evaluation period for Arizona to determine whether it's worth keeping Keller or not. Clayton Keller has established himself as a star player this year, and it looks like he may have superstar potential in him too. The Arizona Coyotes are trying to build through the draft, and definitely have some interesting pieces for the future. Logan Cooley is one of the best prospects in hockey, while Dylan Gunther and Connor Geeky both have star potential. The Coyotes have also unearthed some hidden gems in Nick Schmaltz, Carol Vizmelka, and Yusuf Alamaki that can help fill out the roster in the coming years. The Coyotes have a clear choice with what they want to do going forward. Are they going to try and move Keller out like Chikrin and push the window back another few seasons, or do they keep him around to try to lead this up-and-coming core to finally building a competitive Arizona team? Either way, it's clear that Clayton Keller is the key to Arizona's future, and will be the team's most exciting name to look out for over the coming year.